Hello everyone, welcome back to part 3 for the Lunar video. I'm just going to finish up uh, these nin this ninja wave. Now, obviously, you want to try and take out the rocket launch guy first. He's the most dangerous one. Now, I delimbed him there and then just killed him straight away. What you can do is it's a much better strategy to just delim him with the guillotine throw or just XX with the Lunar and then just leave him delimbed because the, the rocket launcher, the machine gun rocket launcher enemies can't fire their rocket launch with one hand. So if you leave him delimbed, you can just concentrate mopping up all the other ninjas and you haven't got to worry about it. Now, for any enemies that can be easily manipulated, like ninjas and the uh, pill bugs and scorpions, you really want to treat them as just items. You know, obviously, you want to try and you still want to try and maintain your points, and that's where kind of knowing moves that get you your instant kill and killing spree bonus, because then you're going to be getting item. Well, you're not going to get items, obviously, but you know, you're going to be getting health orbs. You're going to be getting green essence. You know, if you need it, you hopefully get red essence. But if you just maintain a instant kill and killing spree bonuses, you're still going to rack up a lot of points, and you're not going to lower your chances significantly of not getting any orbs. Now the Setsu one is next, and start off with the um, uh, start. Always try and start off with the rotate YUT on the Resetsu. Now usually um, he sp he usually spawns right next to you. This is the only time ever in survival he hasn't spawned right next to me. And the rotate YUT with the Luna is insanely powerful and probably the best move to use against him. Got lucky there and took out the uh, two two mechs right at the start, so I could just uh, you know charge up that extra UT to go on the Resetsu. I, was, I, I really hate the mechs there, I got stun locked right at the end of an attack and you know that's what led into the Resetsu's grapple. I'm in a bad spot here so I'm just going to throw my Nimpo in. And uh, you know, always again when you when you pass the first Genshin you know don't be afraid to you know use your Nimpo, there's nothing really wrong with that because you don't really need Nimpo when you've only got one wave of enemies to worry about with Genshin. When you've got you know the first three, when you're fighting him the first time you obviously want to save at least one Nimpo. And again, for the Scorpions, just use your Windmill Shuriken. My uh, multiplier is running out here, which is a bit annoying. But um, what I like to do with the Windmill Shuriken on these enemies is just, you know, throw it a few times. I usually throw it two or three times to hit them all once. Then let your combo me to die, and you should be able to just Windmill Shuriken the rest of the wave, you know, without getting your combo over 20. And hopefully you should get some nice uh, blue orbs and maybe Nimpo if you need it. And then obviously when you've got your health and multipliers to a satisfactory level, you can just kill them off with either UTs or, you know, in a quicker way. And again, you really don't want to take any risks with the Scorpions, like, this is really tedious, and, you know, it's even te it's probably more tedious to watch it, but, you know, it, it is the safest way to take them out. You know, the uh, the pill bugs aren't really that dangerous, you know, you can easily just use regular moves on them, although the Windless Shuriken actually is a lot more powerful, well, a lot more useful against the pill bugs, because they're not as weak, they're not as tough, rather. But um, yeah, for the Bone Scorpions, just use the more Shuriken because it's it's very very safe and you can you know build up a nice amount of health with this. And again, the wave following this is again probably the hardest wave for both formats. So always get ready with the UTs. A lot of survival, you know, once you've played through it a few times, a lot of survival just boils down to you know getting your tactics ready. And sometimes it's just a, it's a case or not of whether your attack your tactics will pay off. Like there, I got way too. Um, I got way too comfortable with just throwing the windmill shuriken, and I had no essence to chain. And you know that could have easily ended this run very, very quickly. But the good thing about the lunar, as I said, you know, gorges are pretty, pretty easy to take out with the lunar. The in air X X Y is gonna drop. Rotate Y is really good. Rotate with the rotate Y E T is an instant kill on almost anything. Like the last hit of it, it instant kills a lot of enemies. Uh, the X count is also really good to use against Gargers because you can knock them back and it's got a very high dealing rate so you can even kill them sometimes. And again, try, always try and aim your UTs at the mech. I did the wrong UT there. Um, should have, that should have been a Rotate Y UT. Because the regular UT is not very useful against mechs. Now, I thought he was dead there and um, on the on landing I tried to go for a UT but came out of it really really fast because on this amount of health the mechs could easily be able to kill you in one. Now this is a, a brilliant wave to show where the Rotate Y ET is definitely preferable to the UT. The ET will take out these Van Gelfs instantly, you know, there's, there's no need to use anything but the Rotate Y ET to take out the Van Gelfs. XXY is also really good against them because it's got a good delim rate and you can just OT them. But the, these are definitely, you know, your highest, um, your top priority rather in this wave. Take out the Van Gelfs. They're, they're, they have a, that stomp move where they come out of the they can be in the air and, and float and then they like charge at you. That does a lot of damage, like that, the damage rate for that picks up significantly after the first wave. So they should definitely be what you want to take out first. If you manage to um, delim uh, one of these rocket launching ninjas, if you take off their right arm, you won't um, you won't have to put up with them firing rockets at you. There's a bad edit there, sorry about that. 
but yeah, if you if you manage to take off their right arm, there's no there's not really any way of doing that. It's just you know you get it sometimes and you don't. They won't be able to take they won't be able to shoot their rockets at you anymore because you take out the arm that holds the rocket launcher. Now again for the majors and this mech, XXY is really good against the mech. Uh, XXY is also really really good against the majors. The Yuzuna drops uh, a good move to use against them, but. You know, in the, they have a really annoying habit of catching you in the recovery frame, so I just use the, you know, I let the rotate YUT just play out if I ever get it. And always OT mages, uh, D-limb mages are very, very dangerous. They, they have a, they don't really have a suicide grab. Um, no, I think they do have a suicide grab. Sorry about that. Yeah, their suicide grab is just does insane damage, and they also have a grab that looks like a suicide grab but isn't one, and that also does insane amount of damage to you. Now again with the ninjas, you know, just try and get whatever you need out of them. I, I obviously at the moment I need Nimpo. You know, my health is good, my multiplier is still at five. You know, I, I need Nimpo, so you know, I'm trying hopefully to get a Nimpo all that here. And I get one, so I should be just going back to getting points. But as I said, this is an old run, so I can't really remember what I did. So, you know, you should always try and just think as much as you can on the fly. It, it, it having said that, that is really easier said than done. You know, pretty much every time you die in survival, two seconds after you die, you know, you realise kind of what you did wrong and, you know, what you shouldn't have done. But as I said, you know, thinking like that constantly on the fly is extremely difficult and one of the main reasons, you know, getting a high score in survival is so hard. Now again, try and um, manipulate the essence system. If you've got a blue essence out and you're low on health and you need more, you know, try and kill more enemies while that blue essence is out because your health will still be really low. So you'll still get, in theory, you'll still get more blue essence and you'll get more, a lot more health back. Try and always guillotine throw them into walls, because guillotine throw them into a wall, it delims them, and then most of the time if you guillotine throw them into a wall again, it'll just kill them outright, because it's the same principle as deliming an enemy twice. And obviously that's always an instant kill. Rotate wise is a really good move to use on ninjas, always, um, pretty much always gets rid of their legs. Again, obviously be careful on tack ninjas though, because they're a uh, suicide grab. You know, any ninja suicide grab is, you know, takes a lot of health off you. So if you do deal in their leg, either OT them or, you know, just do XXY or anything like that. But with the Lunar's Reach, you know, you, you can easily just kind of either do another running Y. It would be just as good. Again, really good move there. That's X forward, X forward, X, Y. Yeah, no, X forward, Y, X, Y. Sorry, I'll, I'll put them in the uh, subtitles because I keep getting confused on what the moves are as I'm watching. But again, this is probably the hardest wave in part B, uh, format B rather. You know, there's a there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong in this way. You re it's really a case of on the fly which UT you want to use. Generally speaking, the rotate Y UT is always better because of the sheer destruction it's got. Um, XX always D XX is really good for dealing the marinettes. Uh, rotate the rotate Y ET is an instant kill on marinettes, so that's always it, um, useful to keep in keep in mind. Again, with the uh, four-legged mechs, you just want to uh, just do XX on them because you know you don't need to do anything else but if you carry on that combo with something else you won't kill them instantly now i don't know what's going on with him here but he's just kind of he's got no arms so he should be dead but it looks like he's kind of glitched or anything and i have to hit, I have to hit him again to kill him now that health orb there was um 50 50 chance you know i could have used that for a ut and obviously i could have killed some enemies you know straight away but, you know, with having just one of each left, I know there's not much chance of me getting stun locked, so I can just, you know, absorb it for health. And this wave seems to last a lot longer um, than any other wave because of the spawn patterns it's got. You know, you can't get them all. It'd be nice if you could get them all to spawn at the same time, you know, constantly. But some, there, there is a pattern to it. You know, you can't make all of them spawn. You have to kill a certain enemy to get another enemy in that class to spawn. Now, for the um, rocket launcher, uh, for the rocket launcher ninjas, you know, this is just uh, the same as it always is, really. If you get into a tight spot, don't be afraid to use your Nimpo, because, as I said, this is the second Genshin, so, you know, you don't need to worry about having loads of Nimpo for all of his, um, all of his mages, I mean, all of his minions. So just use the guillotine throw on them. And uh, I was playing on the Tom for one, as I said earlier, and um, kind of stumbled on a, a good strategy that I haven't really used before. Um, once you get past the first wave of um, like the first wave of survival, you can use your incendiary shurikens on uh, Genshin's minions. They're extremely useful because if you delim them, you can get like quite far away, or quite far across the map, and just throw incendiary shurikens at delimmed enemies, and you can take them out from a very long distance. You know, with with almost no danger of getting hit. Again, for Genshin, always charge up a rotate YUT because the actual UT damage is quite good. And uh, that's it for part three. I'll see you in part four.